Hello and welcome, my name is Sabo and today we are setting up a Pi Core player on a Raspberry Pi. Um, the reason I'm making this tutorial is um, I wanted to have a uh, music library um, based on the Raspberry Pi in my local network and I um, evaluated some uh, options like Volumio and also Pi Core player and um, opted for PyCore player. But the problem was um, you are probably on that route now if you're watching this tutorial. Um, all the knowledge is um, kind of uh, fragmented and you only get parts of it in one forum or in one documentation. So I wanted to do a uh, from zero to one um, tutorial and I got a little agenda here. Um, that we are using to have um, the Raspberry Pi set up and then having a media library, LMS, on top of it. And then we are able to eventually connect to said library, um, make changes. And also later you can connect other players that are also Squeeze or PCPs and um, connect those to the uh, already established uh, environment that we are setting up in this tutorial. So um, I'm talking about the prerequisites that we need. Um, then we set up the SD card for the Raspberry Pi, boot it up and uh, set up and configure PCP um, itself. Then on top of that, we are setting up LMS in the next step. LMS is Logitech Media Server and it basically is your library, so to say, and also acts as a front end to control and um, yeah, to sort your library. Then we are in the next step configuring uh, um, set LMS and also install the material skin, which is a game changer. Um, I wouldn't be using this platform without the material skin. Um, and it's pretty outdated um, LMS um, looks wise. It's very powerful, but it looks like some ICQ skin from the late 90s. Um, but with material, um, it's very slick, very um, also responsive. And we are going to install that. And maybe we have um, some minutes for conclusion thoughts, um, how you would add um, additional uh, things to your um, existing setup then and also what we could cover in next tutorials. So let's get started. Prerequisites. Um, on the hardware side I got a Raspberry, Raspberry Pi 3. I'm using an older model. I got that lying around and I'm using a SD card with um, 512 gigs of um, memory. You could use, depending on your um, size of your library, music library, um, lower, like 64 gigs. But um, I personally want all my music that I accumulated over the last, whatever, 20, 25 years on said um, card. And you could also use a small SD card and um, just plug some uh, memory stick or even a hard drive to it. It's not part of the tutorial, but it's very easy. And I will eventually get back um, where you would configure something um, if you opt or choose to do so. So um, then uh, on the software side, I am using um, from raspberrypi.com the um, OS Imager and it's available for Mac OS, Windows and Ubuntu. I'm using um, Windows throughout this tutorial, but as most of it, nearly all of it is in the browser, it's platform independent anyways. But um, just if something looks different, um, all steps are yeah, uh, doable on, on uh, Mac OS or Linux. So um, we will choose that. And also on PyCorePlayer.org, you can um, download um, the actual image and you are presented with um, two versions, 32-bit kernel and 64-bit kernel. What that means basically um, for newer Pies, um, two, three, four, five, you will use six, uh, 64 bit kernel and for lower end tier like um, Raspberry Pi Zero, also um, and the one um, tier stuff, you will use 32 bit. 
If you are unsure, um, just use um, the first 32-bit because it will work anyway, um, as opposed 64 will not work on every model. I'm using a Pi 3, as I said, because I got a wired um, Ethernet there. Uh, I want to have it um, connected to my local um, LAN. But if you opt to do something like um, Wi-Fi uh, stuff, you would use a zero and then use 32-bit kernel. I have downloaded that. And let's check um, what we have here. Now we got um, some zip downloaded and um, I ran, the first time I, I did this, I ran into a problem because Raspberry Pi Imager, which I loaded up here, also takes zip files. But what it does, it just um, unzips them and gets the, the contents to the SD card, which yeah won't boot. Um, but I didn't uh, realize that the first time and wasted some hour. So I spare you that. Um, just uh, unzip it. I'm using 7-zip. You can just um, double click on it in Windows and it will eventually um, unzip. And within this, I see um, .img file with uh, under 300 megabytes and I um, want to use this file in Raspberry Pi Imager. And um, here you are uh, presented with three options. Um, the first one being which device. I use a Pi 3, as I said, so I choose that here. And on operating system, you choose the operating system. Uh, you can skip all of those options. And the last one is use custom. Let's do that. And go to the download folder and then have that IMG file. Make sure you use the IMG file. Okay. Open that. And I have a virgin um, untouched 512 gigabytes here um, SD card. I will choose that. And I am presented in the next step with um, OS customization. Let's talk about that real quick. Um, you can set a host name, you can set a username and password before, um, so you don't have to configure it later. I use that here. You don't have to, but um, if you would use something like SSH, if you're a bit more experienced, then it, it's a good way to just have that out of the way. Important for all of you that use wireless LAN is obviously this one. Um, if you have uh, a zero or you use a Pi um, that has wireless LAN, you want to use it, you have to enter your SSID and your password here. And um, I also chose um, set locale settings. And uh, as you know by my accent by now, I'm from Germany. So I chose my time zone and keyboard layout um, here. And also important, um, if you want to use SSH under services, um, then enable SSH and use password um, authentication and you can uh, log in with the IP and set credentials. So um, I will uh, burn that to the SD card or copy it. And it warns me that it will be formatted. Yes, I want it. And as PyCore player is very, very slim, as I said, under 300 uh, megabytes. I will see you in a minute when it's done. So I have now um, copied the image to the uh, SD card and entered or inserted the SD card into my Raspberry Pi and then just let it sit for whatever, five minutes or so until it does its stuff. And um, I'm not explaining how to get the IP address. Um, I'm using an ethernet here. So the process is always get into your uh, router, router um, interface and um, see which device registered um, lately and get the IP. You can also assign a P. There are many tutorials on that. I won't cover it. Um, and we are on point two now, or um, agenda point two, um, how to configure um, now the PCP. I found out that my um, player has uh, one, two, three. 
And that is at the point you should be um, at at the moment. That is the welcome page, so to say, of your um, of your Raspberry Pi with Pi Core Player image. And I will now um, configure it so we can use it. Um, basically, on the main page here, um, we have um, green check marks. Squeeze light is running. Squeeze light being kind of the player side, um, not the library side. That's LMS. And um, we have to now configure the, the system, um, have some mounting points from the SD card that um, we can use to store music on and also to store con configuration on. So um, you can also update it. I just uh, downloaded the image, so I won't do that. And the first point you want to go to is the very bottom and have um, the resize, for me, it's a resize file system. And that's the first one. It's not at the very bottom, it's somewhere in between. Um, resize the file system. And what it does uh, is resizing it and partitioning it. Um, now, what does that mean, so to say? I am now able to reserve a certain amount of my SD card to use with um, the PyCore player inter interface, so to say, and also LMS to store configuration and all that stuff. You could use um, fairly small, but as I have a pretty extensive library, um, I will use um, 1000 or even 2000 megabyte here, so two gigs. And I will um, be fine with that. And I got um, the space to spare. So two gigs, I will never run into problems with updates and all that stuff. So um, let's click uh, resize. And um, it's working. Um, you will get some uh, information here. And it will uh, it will save few minutes. It's more than few seconds. So I'm clicking on the main page as long as it will. Now it can't be reached. That's fine. So it has uh, done its thing and I'm back where we left. And now at the very bottom, you see some uh, tab. And um, as I said, um, it's divided into two different um, instances. One is the player and one is the media server, so to say. And I now want to switch to player slash server. It looks the same, but if I go to resize file system now, you see um, I got the one I already selected with 2000. I can't choose that because I already um, have that. And currently 2000 megabytes, that's fine. And now um, I can add um, additional partition for my data. Now it says um, that's not really recommended um, here. You could use at this point now a USB drive, thumb drive, hard drive, SSD, external, whatever. I want to have everything on the SD card and served to the uh, local network um, for other players to use um, that I eventually will add. So um, let's do add here. And it um, does a thing again, but now with partition three. And what it does is reserving all the remaining space on the SD card for files, playlists, um, covers that you want to download, but mainly MP3 files. So that again takes some time. See you in a minute. So I'm back. That took about five minutes to resize the whole um, 512 gigabyte um, card. And it's saying now that um, partition two and three exist. And it warns me that um, partition three is not mounted, which means um, it's not visible to the system and we can't store stuff on it. We will change that uh, now. And in order to do so, 
um, we will go to the LMS tab here. And as I said, LMS is um, the Logitech Media Server. It's the yeah the core um, application for um, your library, and it's not running. Um, that is because we didn't yet install it. So let's do that. Click on Install LMS, and it's downloading and um, unzipping, untarring, whatever. And I don't know how long that takes. It will probably take a minute, so let's see you in a minute again. And also that finished. So I got a few more options or nearly all options here. It's not running. Um, and we have to configure it once again. So scroll down to where it says um, install and enable additional file systems. We will click there and yet again a little pause. And that finished and I'm scrolling down once again where I left off and I have now installed EXFAT and I will also use that to have um, the file system um, in LMS available. So that will also take a minute. And here we are again. Basically I'm scrolling down ignoring all that stuff and now you see I got a um, mounting point. I can mount stuff. It's an X4 file system with um, nearly 500 gigabyte. That's um, the one I want. And what it means is um, a mounting point is some kind of a description where um, it lies to the system. I make it available now and I will use music. Enable that and then um, set the right permissions. And what it says, um, now you can write to this, I want that, so I'm clicking OK. And now it should be mounted. Oh, I have to, let's see, I have to first set the USB mount because it sees it as a USB. Um, it now it's fine um, and it should be visible under here. Yeah, it's um, it has preserved that and now I set the write permissions so I can actually store stuff on it. So it's um, now picking up the path and I now have this as writable mounted. So I could also set up a network dismount if you have some kind of NAS or attached file system. Um, but this is uh, out of scope also for this tutorial, but just that you know the, the option is here. So we have now a um, writable file system, so to say. But um, how do we write it? It's in the SD card and um, it's in the Raspberry Pi in the network. So let's set up a Samba share and Samba is SMB. It's a network protocol for file uh, for local um, file um, accessing and it's unzipping that. I will see you in a minute. And we have that installed the Samba server and now let's um, scroll to the very bottom and set up a actual share so to say um, so that I can access the SD card from the network. How I do that, um, I um, have a share name. I'll also call that music. That's the name um, that will be available in the network. And now um, the share path, that's forward slash MMT for mount. And then I guess data. But I have uh, mounted it as slash music. So data is the internal one. Um, I'm using the mounting point that I chose. So both music, you can name it whatever. And then the create file mode, that's basically um, who can write, delete, access files. I'm using 0777 
Um, as I know, it's in my local network and no one without credentials or who should um, can access that. So I'm setting the shares and now it's asking me for the server name, which um, I will call PCP Samba and the work group that's for Windows at least. I don't know if it's for all. You would um, enter the work group that your server will be in, that your whole network or system is in. And let's get this running. It's restarting. And now go back. And also to the very bottom again, I will now pick, I can, but I couldn't before. Um, pick a password. Um, I will just use TC as it's the username. So um, that will be fine. Save that again. And it's restarting. And I should now see Samba is running and I know my IP address. So let's verify that and go to the uh, Explorer in my case, and that's backward, backward, then the IP without any HTTP stuff, just the IP address, and then uh, trading backward and see, it's already finding the music folder. And now it's asking me for the credentials, that's TC, TC, remember them, and I can't access it at the moment. Let's see why. Then let's go back here and pick something. I don't know if I, I'm picking one, two, three now and set password. I don't know if I misclicked or something. Let's see, um, one, two, three. And now, okay, I can access it. I probably just uh, mistyped or didn't click on save, whatever. So um, there's nothing in here and that's fine because we didn't set up anything. And now I will set up LMS, um, the Logitech um, part of the whole system without any music in here, just to show you um, because you might be using a USB thumb drive. I, we will then get back here and add some music uh, in here. So LMS is still not running and um, probably you want now to uh, set auto start. It's default. Yes, that means when you restart, um, then LMS is up. Um, that should be always on yes. And now let's see what happens if I start the LMS um, part if that works. And I see LMS is running. That's fine. Um, and up here um, you have tabs, help, PCP and LMS. And if I click on that, I am presented with um, a set uh, interface of Logitech Media Server. And it's asking me now for my local music folder. And as I know, it's an MNT music. I'm picking that and now I have a slight problem that I didn't mitigate in the first place. I don't have any subfolders here. Probably you will have like slash singles slash um, LPs, um, audiobooks, whatever. So let's fix that and um, now create our first folder here and let's just call that um, L piece, whatever. It doesn't matter. And now I have to probably get out of here and start the LMS um, tab again. And I should now see the LPs folder. And here for the, for the first thing, there's my music. So just you understand um, the music collection idea, so to say. And I will now get to the LPs stuff and click next. And now it's asking me for playlists. And um, I could have seen that coming. I will now also have a playlists folder. 
and basically I have to point it to that folder. So it has something where it stores, uh, stores playlists that you might create, that you might import, whatever. So let's get to the next um, part. And um, I'm clicking on finish. And now I'm presented already with the interface of Logitech where I now could play music if I had any. Um, I will fix that in a minute. Just you see, it's um, kind of dated, the interface. It's, um, I, it doesn't uh, suit my liking and it's also very less responsive. So um, we will fix that in a minute. Let's get to the agenda and see where we are. We have now um, set up PCP and also we've been setting up LMS. And the next part will be configuring LMS. Um, I will upload some Tangerine Dream uh, albums to the uh, folder to work with um, and then configure and install Material Skin. So, as you see, I uploaded some um, Black Sabbath and Tangerine Dream. Um, those are folders within the LPs. And within this folders, there are some albums. Um, and now we got something to work with, two different artists to show you um, the sorting. And now I want to, firstly, because I don't want to use that interface, I want to install the material skin that I talked about. Um, up in the right hand corner, um, or down in the right hand corner, so to say, you have settings. And um, you have something called manage plugins that it was. And there are all kinds of plugins. Um, I won't go into those. I'm scrolling down to inactive plugins and then picking uh, third party plugins, sorry, and then going to M for material and then install the materials uh, screen. Thanks, Craig Drummond. It's great. I really love it. And um, let's click apply. It's downloading it, activating it. So I just let it sit for uh, some minutes, um, grabbed uh, something to eat and came back and it uh, told me uh, to restart the server. Took a bit longer than I expected. Perhaps um, in the background something's going on, but whatever. Um, I have now under the active plugins um, the material skin and um, when I go to the interface tab in the LMS settings I have now web interface and I can now choose the material skin. Hit apply and it says um, I should close this window. I can do that now. And via the uh, PyCore Player LMS tab, I am now presented with um, the material skin, dark skin. I like it. And now I basically have a player running and I have a database um, of music of some sort running. And I can already change the volume up here. And what I do now is um, configure the player part because um, I'm using uh, PyCore uh, on, a, on a Raspberry 3. I got a normal audio jack. Perhaps you will use um, Raspberry Pi Zero, which doesn't have that. Then you have to use some FAT, that's called um, DAC, Digital Audio Converter. That will probably be covered in another tutorial. Let's see. Um, I'm using the, the standard version and I'm going to squeeze light and I have headphones here. So I got my uh, thing connected, my amp to the headphone jack and also you have card control here. And it basically has some, some options depending on uh, which device you are playing on. And also you got Alsa Mixer and it has a volume setting and I'm going to 4 dB 
um, to have it louder because um, my amp input gain is slow, but you can experiment with that stuff. So that out of the way, um, I know where my audio is playing from. And now switching back to Logi uh, Tech Media Server, I will now index, so to say, um, my library of just two artists, but whatever, um, and go to main menu on the top right now, and you have interface, player, and server. Interface being material skin, player being the um, registered player, that is um, also the Pi in my case, but it could also be some other device that you connect to the infrastructure. And you have server, and I want server because that's um, the LMS. And I have configured also my LP, uh, LPs folder here. That's fine. I can add others um, now, um, which I would do via creating folders on the share and then indexing them here. And you got your playlist folder. And here there is rescan media library. And for the first time, I will say clear library and rescan everything. For later, if I add music, if I change music, retag music also, um, which is important for a slick and um, good looking library, you would choose um, look for new and changed media files. But for the first time, I will clear it, hit rescan. And now it says scanning view progress. I will click that. And it's telling me some stuff about my system and important stuff here. Um, it will update in a minute. It's indexed it um, before. So um, as I'm rescanning everything, um, you see the process here. It's uh, running through um, discovery and um, all of that stuff. And here we are. It says the server has finished scanning your media library and um, I can now go back out of this and um, here it's a basic um, interface or a very convenient interface and I have my music and I have album artists and that's Sabbath and Tangerine Dream. And if I click here, I got all my albums already there. And if I want to play them, I can just click on it and it will push them to the um, playlist on the right. I can also append stuff and um, reorganize it here. Um, so that's very convenient. I won't be playing any music because I'm probably getting content striked um, on YouTube here, but um, you get the idea. And also, um, you can now have like random mixes if you i got new age and doom metal which are the two bands and i could um say okay do a song mix um continuous out of those two and then it will just randomly play from those two um genres i got but you could also randomly play albums all that stuff and if you like um, what was generated and you want to save it for later, you can save cues and all that stuff. It's amazing. So basically we are now um, finishing um, this tutorial or nearing the end. Um, the only thing I want to show you how convenient the Samba share was that we um, introduced is I will um, copy um, a third artist and then rescan the library and let's see how that works. So I copied over uh, a Captain Beefheart and his Magic Band album. And let's see in LMS how we would um, now re-index. Just go to server and um, look for new. Go to rescan. And it's scanning, it will take um, not nearly as long because it's only indexing one um, album and then um, adding it to the uh, index and optimizing the database. So let's wait for it for some seconds. And sometimes I found this won't really update um, as fast as it finishes scanning. So you could either hit uh, five and then go there again 
and it will say we previous scan details. So um, that means it's done. And let's see if on, yeah, we got uh, the third artist and we have one album and we can already um, get rid of this by clicking play and it will push that over. And that's basically it. Um, yeah, we covered all of the stuff that we had today. Um, I hope you find that um, in any way useful for your personal endeavors. Um, we managed to have a Samba share um, to just keep your uh, music library in tucked away somewhere in the basement or in the attic and access it via um, network. And if there is feedback in any sorts on this video, I can also cover how I managed to add additional players to, um, to the system by using Raspberry Pi Zeros and DACs, cheap ones from, from uh, China. Um, which need to be configured, all that stuff. So just um, give me feedback. And um, if you like that, yeah, I'm glad. Have a nice uh, day, evening, wherever you are. I was Savo from Munich, Germany. Thank you.